Hello friends and thanks for stopping by Home Sense with Nell. I know you have so many options as to what to watch on YouTube and I really do appreciate you visiting my channel. So today I want to share with you something that I make with my harvest of zucchini. We all know that gardening is so much fun, but one of the best things about gardening is being able to enjoy your harvest. So I'm going to show you what I do with these two black beauties. Now after giving them a quick wash, I went ahead and cut off the tough ends, the stem end and the base. And next I grated the zucchini on my grater. And I was actually able to get two cups of grated zucchini from just one squash and I saved the second one for another recipe to be made later on. Look at all that delicious fresh zucchini, organically grown from my own garden. So after I finished grating the zucchini, I went ahead and set it aside and I got all my dry ingredients mixed together. I decided to go ahead and sift everything to make sure that it would be nice and aerated and there'd be no clumps of any of the dry ingredients. So I just placed a sifter on top of my bowl and I went ahead and first added three cups of flour. and one teaspoon of salt. I have a half teaspoon that I'm using to measure with so I just added two of those. And next I added one teaspoon of baking soda. And also one teaspoon of baking powder. And finally, I added about a tablespoon of cinnamon, but you can also add as much as you like or as little as you like. And I think this recipe would be great if you were to add nutmeg or even allspice. If you're gonna add nutmeg though, I'd probably add uh, a teaspoon or less because it's so strong. So after all my dry ingredients were added into the sifter, I just went ahead and sifted them to get everything nicely incorporated and aerated. It was a little messy, but it's worth it. Next, I added three whole eggs. <clears throat> now all of the wet ingredients were added into a separate bowl from the dry and the zucchini. The next ingredient would be one cup of oil. I used vegetable oil, because that's what I had. And I used about a tablespoon of vanilla. And I will go ahead and leave this recipe in the um, description box below in case anybody wants to try it. If you do try it, please co comment back and let me know how you liked it and how your family liked it. Okay, so into a, that same bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and add two and a half cups of sugar. And in this instance, I didn't, I couldn't find my half cup measure and I wanted to be pretty precise. So I went ahead and used my tablespoon measure. 
to measure out the half cup. I believe eight tablespoons equals half a cup. So next I just stirred everything together until it was well incorporated. This took about two to three minutes because the batter or the mixture gets really thick. So finally, after all the dry and wet ingredients were mixed together, I folded in my zucchini. And here's when it gets really thick. So I switched to a smaller spoon. I thought it would be easier for me to mix up. You could do this with a hand mixer, but unfortunately my hand mixer broke and I didn't want to lug out the big KitchenAid, so I just mixed it with a good old wooden spoon. So that's what the batter looks like when it's thoroughly mixed. Now I went ahead and I buttered and floured uh, four mini loaf pans. I actually ended up only filling three. If you make this recipe, you can either fill three small loaf pans as I did, these are six by four, or you can fill two eight by four loaf pans. I wanted to make sure that my loaves wouldn't stick, so I was pretty particular about buttering and flouring each one really well. Then I went ahead and filled the loaf pans, about two thirds of the way full. And guys, I have some walnuts here, and I added these to just one of the loaf pans because the only people that like walnuts in my house are my husband and I. The kids don't care for them. So I just added them to one of the loaf pans, and I pushed them down with my spoon. And I set my oven to 325. Now my oven is a little slow guys, so I had to test these quite a few times before they were actually done. I was expecting them to be done around 40 minutes or so, but it actually took about an hour. And the little one with the walnuts was done first, so I removed that one first at about 50 minutes or so. Finally guys, the wait was over. 
My toothpick came out clean in the largest muffin after about 60 minutes, and so I knew finally the baking was over. I placed each loaf pan on the uh, wire rack because I wanted to get a little more airflow underneath the pans so they could cool faster. And I let them sit on the wire rack for about 20 minutes. Don't they look good, guys? It's so exciting to harvest and cook your own food in your own kitchen for your family. It's like one of the most comforting and pleasing feelings ever. And after about 20 minutes, the pans had cooled off enough for me to handle them. They were still a little warm, but I didn't want to let the loaves sit in there too long because I've had an experience where I left uh, baked goods in their pan too long and then I never could get them out. They stuck. So I was kind of anxious about getting these out. You can see me touching it to make sure that it's cool enough to handle. Now I've made this recipe in the past in metal or aluminum loaf pans. This was my first time making it in the ceramic. So I was kind of nervous about them coming out, but they came out just fine, thanks to the butter and flour. This one needed a little bit of coaxing. <laughs> there we go. So we couldn't wait too long before we had to go ahead and try it. This is the walnut loaf. Now in hindsight, I realized I should have put a lot more walnuts in there, but it actually tasted really, really good. Now guys, I want you to see how tender and moist this cake came out. Look at that. And you can see little flecks of zucchini skin in there. If you think your family might not like the green, you can always uh, peel your zucchini before making the recipe. But guys, I really do hope you try this recipe. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments below if you do. And once again, thank you for visiting HomeSense with Nell, where I talk about home decor, DIYs, gardening, and other topics related to making your home your sanctuary on a budget. I'll see you next time.